uh, my name is Morrison, and uh, if you've got uh, small hands, short fingers, then this is a video for you, really, because I, I, I'm not a tutor. I'm just someone who's hoping to pass on my experiences of playing the guitar with small hands when there's a lot of things against you, really. Um, it's not easy, but you, you have to make uh, changes and, and do things slightly differently. Um, I put up a video on YouTube uh, over a year ago now, and um, it's had 280,000 hits. And I never realised there's so many people in the world with short f problems with short hands and, and uh, uh, sorry, small hands and short fingers. So I'm hoping to just help you a little bit here. Um, now I've got the shortest fingers that I think only three people have ever um, have ever said to me that they got the fingers are just as short as mine. Um, so my little finger. It's about the size of an AA bat. Is it an AA or a triple A? It's a, I think it's a triple A. Anyway, they're, they're both the same size, but that's that's it anyway. There you are, look. Uh, if you can see that, if I can hold it. So that gives you an idea how, how big my hands are, how small. Um, I'm hoping to do uh, a few uh, a few videos that's why I've got a number one up here uh, sorry I'm pointing it it's gone off the screen now but I had a number one on it and that's to um, so the next one will be number two, number three and so on uh, I'm a little bit rusty I haven't done anything for quite a while because I've had a bit of health issues but there we are um, now the first thing I want to say is look, um, don't don't listen too much to long-fingered guitarists who tell you how to play. That's, in my opinion, that's the worst thing you can do. I've learnt by my mistakes. They don't have a clue. They can't advise you because they haven't got short fingers. And some of them say, oh, it's not a problem. But it is a ruddy problem. But you can get round it. Um, no. um, I've got a, a list of things, notes here, because I'm old. Lost, no memory. That's <laughs> pretty... There we are. Um, you yeah, drop through down your clothes and all that. That's a sign of old age. Um, now, I'm going to make it two parts this video. One is for somebody who's people who want to play the guitar but they, they're being put off because they think their hands are too small. So, I'm going to make the first section that. And then the second section, I'll start by just tr trying to explain a few of the problems that I've had in that with actually playing different chords and just starting off if you're fairly new in a guitar uh, this is really to help you as I progress doing these videos uh, hopefully I'll be able to get you know come to more advanced stuff so let's start if you already got a guitar or you haven't got a guitar um, I think you have to first of all talk about holding the guitar well because I'm small I have to crunch the guitar up to me because not only when you have short fingers and short hands, you usually have short arms. And if you look, when I'm holding a guitar like that to play, let me take this cap off for a minute. If you talk about the open, the open chords, my arm is in some positions it's almost straight. And if you have to play like a, a G7, you've got to twist your arm under it. So I tend to use a capo quite a bit. The other thing is that guitars have a different scale lengths depending on how many frets they've got. So if you're looking at your guitar, my advice is this, there's a balance to be struck between a smaller body guitar like this one, uh, which my son bought me in, but they don't make any more. Um, a small body guitar, or a slightly bigger body, but has a slightly a bigger a scale, uh, but, but it also has a much better sound. So it's the choices really. I've also got, I've got, one or two guitars, uh, but I've got one that's the next size up from this, a different maker, which I love to death. Um, it's just slightly wider neck, you have to think of all these things, wider neck, shape of the neck, um, how far the frets are apart, so 
if you get some guitars with a full scale, the, the frets can be quite a distance. And uh, I saw somebody on YouTube, and I think I counted he could he could reach seven of these frets, and that was up here somewhere. Look, I'll try it. Look, so one, two, three, four. I've got to four. And so you can't play everything the same as a person with long fingers because you can't reach the notes. So you have to modify. And I'll tell you how I get around some of the problems as we go through this. Not a course, but a series of videos talking on how to help you. Well, I don't want to rub it on too long, but um, so think about the guitar. Do you want one with a better, a, a more, a deeper sound, a better sound, but it'll be more of a struggle, especially in the early stages, or a smaller body guitar? which will probably be easy to play but um, it uh, it doesn't sound quite as good try if you've got short fingers uh, unless you're brave try and avoid a classical guitar or a Spanish guitar which usually have three nylon strings and three metal uh, because they've got a much wider neck much much wider so avoid those if you can um, the other thing is finger strength sometimes it can take quite a bit of strength to push a, a string down if you've got smaller they're obviously a bit weaker so that's something you have to build up by keep doing it doesn't you know try and get some exercise off of youtube or somebody but it the main thing is to keep trying to work you know uh, play your guitar using your fingers all parts of the fret and keep building up your strength um now uh what was the other thing i was going to say the the other thing is um <laughs> One difficulty that I still struggle with is that if you've got short arms, which I have, um, when you hold a guitar, a, a, a normal, a, a medium sized chap or lady can hold a guitar and play, play, over, play the strings over the, um, the um, hole in the guitar, I can't think what it's called, um, sound hole. But when you when you've got short arms you tend to play right up near the bridge now this can give a nice sound when you're trying to do it in tension give more of a metallic sound um, but this is where it should be played but I got in bad habits when I was younger and I tend to play much down here and it's very difficult to keep trying to concentrate to move up so that's the guitar uh, if anybody's got any questions put it on a, on this YouTube the answer to it um, now the the other thing with short fingers is some people have fat fingers, mine are quite fat, so you always have a problem in that when you try and press the strings, because they're fat they're pressing the next one to it as well and you don't want that, so you might have to think about the neck of a guitar being, this is about uh, one and seven eighths or something like that in old money, old measurements, um, you might go for a slightly wider one because that gives you more space to get your fingers down between the strings. Um, now, I don't know what style you want to play. You can play finger picking, you can play plectrum, which I tend to do a lot of. You, um, you can strum, you can play the melody through the chords, whatever your desire is. Try to think of a style of music you really like and trying to work on that. Somebody once said to me, uh, do you do finger picking? I said, well, if I did, I'd have pick longer fingers simpler so um, right um, now plectrums and capos I'm not going to dwell on these now capo or capo whatever you want to call it it's a nightmare for people with short fingers for me anyway because when you play a chord which this is the open end of the guitar when you play a chord I use a B7 or an A an A is a good one because everybody they soon learns it anyway, which is three strings uh, in the second fret the second third and fourth string which you can play in different ways when you play an A uh, I don't want to dwell on this because I've said it before when you play an A like that you've then got to reach over the the cup to get the string and you can't if you've got short fingers so you have to come around it with different solutions which are not for this talk now plectrums I've got all sorts of plectrums I lose them like nobody's business I found when I was starting to play the really thin ones were much better for me but as I've got um, 
a little bit more experience. It's taken me a few years, I admit. But I've now gone for much stronger, thicker plectrums. I dare say if I was really good, like some of these top guitars, they'd probably use really, really thick plectrums. Uh, anyway, um, so that's a few starting things for people that are just, a few things to consider for people who are just starting out. Don't be put off. Especially, no disrespect to them, but don't watch people with long fingers and give you lessons because they're teaching you a way that you can't do. They think you can, but you can't. You can't imagine your fingers are twice as long as it is. So, try to start off gently. My suggestion is we go on to people that have already got a guitar and thinking about a guitar now. Now look, um, try and get a couple of um, chords off of YouTube. They give diagrams on YouTube. Pick a couple of easy chords and practice them first. Like an E minor, which is only two strings. Um, C is a very important chord. You've got to try and get that. You need that awful lot. G. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about. I'd like to teach you. Or no, I shouldn't use that word. I'm not teaching. I'm telling you what I've done. Um, you some time you've got to face up to the bar chord which is an F it all starts with an F you always learn the F first the difficulty is there is getting you've got short fingers getting that bass string that, that six string you, but I won't go over the the F now because it is difficult and can put people off my advice when you come to it is try and play the full chord not a part chord which some people say which you can play only the bottom, uh, first four strings or first, first four strings, but when it comes to later on, when you're playing later on, um, you've lost something which you've got to go back and do again because you won't be able to do some of the wonderful stuff on the guitar. So I'm just going to talk about. Let's talk about the the next most popular part. For, the the C, the uh, key of C contains an F chord. I won't go on that now because that is. A very important key but it's I've made that the next lot but for the moment the second most important key to me is a G chord a lot of country and western a lot of tunes are played in G now G which I'm, I want you to look up your own diagrams because I, I haven't I'm the most basic of equipment to do a video on I haven't got anything special on I can't draw diagrams and all that so that's why I've got that stranger picture of me holding a massive guitar um, as it all cut held pieces but you, you've just got to do what you can do um, I've got you know even in this position to record this video I'm having to sit up on a stool which is uncomfortable I've got my leg up on an electric heater and um, because you have to it's all bodged up for me to make a video because when you're small you can't you know a really good guitarist you know I'm, on stage and that they can hold the guitar right band down by the knees sometimes and still reach it. I've got I told you I started off, get your guitar comfortably. I have mine squeezed right into my body and the only way I can do that apart from having a strap on is to bring my bring my knee up to support the guitar as well. Like a classical guitarist. But it doesn't make it all anyway, not for my moaning about my videos, they're not very good, they're unprofessional, but I'm not in this to do anything other than to give a bit of heart to those people like me who thought many years ago oh, I'll never be able to do this, how can I do this? I want you to, I want to encourage you by telling you that it can be done but slightly different ways. Right, so I'm just going to go over the G chord for today or, or the key of G. Now it, it, it consists of G, C, E minor, diminished and those can be varied slightly but that's generally it so let's just look at a G at the moment I want you to get your own uh, uh, pictures of the, of the chords and, and copy them from there but let's just look at a G now a G concerns a third is the usual G is third fret first string and then 
the second fret for the fifth string, and then the third fret for the sixth string. That's G. Now, the other, oh, the, then there's E minor, which I told you before, and A minor. Now, let's just, I'm going to spend time on the G. There is several thoughts about a G. You can play G like I just told you. You can add a G, you can add a string. Sorry, I'll put that and you can add this this one here. You can put that down on the third fret on the second string. So it adds a bit more zing to it. Some people play like that all the time. Now if you're playing, let's just say you play um, G, E minor, C, G. Now, you can play it in a modern style, which I, but I'm still trying to get my second finger on the first, in the third fret on the on the first and second string. Sometimes I play it with a tip of one finger, but that's not easy. Um, so the other way of playing it is like the more modern way is to play a G with that second string in the third fret, and then. You can just play an E minor with this finger by covering two strings. And then a C with this, add nine, and then D. So, now, what the big guitarists do, which is one real disadvantage for small, small uh, people like me, small hands, is they play a G I showed you with now when you play a G this this finger is not doing anything but what they do is they swap that finger onto there and then that one onto the sixth string and that one there. so this finger is now free you're playing the same G but this is free to be able to play strings and put melody to the G. so that's very difficult the only way you can do that is to move very quick or to to try to miss out the notes which are not quite so important. Mm. So, um, I'll just sort of... So when you get good, or when you get better, you can add a little finger, or you, you can play odd notes in order to add a bit more zing to them. Now, I hope this has been some use to you. I haven't done any for a long time. I've only just today really uh, felt what I call reasonably well to make another video but I'm hoping I'm getting going to get better now and I'll be able to make more regular ones and maybe um, you know have a bit of fun with you on the way. Um, don't, don't, don't give up. Pick up that guitar and this is a lesson I've learnt throughout my life, because you face, you will always face problems and and um, barriers. Just it's it's what they call sod's law. That if you really want something, you're not equipped either financially or physically to be able to do what you want to do. So you have to be strong-minded and say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this because I want to do it, and I'll find a way to do it. So be positive. Get on with it. Pick up that guitar and start playing. If you haven't played one before, get a couple of things off of YouTube. Keep practicing those chords. Practice, 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 and you'll be okay. I wish you all the very best. Hope you find some of this of interest. If I do help a few people, I'll carry on with this. Um, I'll carry on. I've got to bring my computer back to life. Um, I've got to um. I'll carry on doing a one, and the next one will be a two, and the next one will be three. But I rather like that picture. That I sorry, I keep pointing to it because I can see it, but you can't. But I started the video with it. I rather like it because it took me hours to do, and I don't want to keep having to cut out and stick pieces together like that again. So I'll be using the same picture, but with a number one or a number two. 
cheerio thank you for all those people that watch my other video and all the wonderful wonderful comments i can't believe them sometimes they they bring me nearly to tears of what you said to, about me i keep up to look in the mirror and say is that me anyway cheerio and all the best